What you're seeing right now is a fully functional stable diffusion model with all extensions running on my phone. There's a generated image. We're going to show you how to do this on Android and iPhone right now. Now let's actually go ahead and set this up. Now you can use this on iPhone or Android or you can actually use this on your computer as well. But for the purposes of this, we're going to be showing you how to put this on your iPhone or your Android. So let's just go ahead and go to Google because no matter what platform you're on, you can go to Google. You'll get the same results on Safari. So let's go ahead and we're going to type in stable. Ooh. Hello, we're going to type in stable diffusion and then Kamenduru. So you're going to type it in just like that and hit enter. And this will have the GitHub repository or the code bank, I like to call it, uh -huh, the code bank for the stable diffusion web UI collab. Now this is not automatic 1111 as you've seen installed before. This is going to just be a stable diffusion web UI collab. So this right here is the repository and there's a bit of information on it if you're running it like locally hosted on your PC, but then you'll notice that you get to a long line of different models. Now, as I'm scrolling through this, I should let you know that you can utilize any of these models on your phone as long as they have web UI. Web UI, web UI, web UI, which they all do. All of these are gonna have different extensions different uh, checkpoints and different things you can do inside of them. So have fun reading through those and deciding which one you want to use. I'm just going to say right off the bat that Arcane Diffusion is freaking sweet along with the Cyberpunk Anime Diffusion. For this though, we're going to go to the very first one. This is just the version one of Stable Diffusion Web UI. We're going to click on where it says light. And if you're on your phone, of course, you're going to tap. Go ahead and click on light and it will open this right here. This is what's known as the Google Collab Notebook. It lets you code, upload code, clone GitHub repositories, and do all of the wonderful things that you would do locally hosted, but it's gonna be in this. Now your screen will look the same as mine, if you're on Android or iPhone, and on the top right you're gonna have a little connect button. Now we should say as a prerequisite, you need to have a Google account, but I'm sure you already do. You also need to have a Google Drive, and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. The cloud capabilities of Google Drive is gonna let us take this from a locally hosted service to one we can use anywhere on our phone. So go ahead and click on connect on the top right. It'll say allocating, it'll load for a brief moment, and then it'll say initializing, and then it'll say connected. This is where your part will look a little bit different whether you're on Android or iPhone. We're gonna run through both though. First, on iPhone, or really on mobile, you will not have this vertical bar. Yours will be horizontal across the top. Now go ahead and click on this little, uh, these three bars right here. Now if you're on iPhone, you're gonna have something that says this right here. It's really gonna be these four icons and there's gonna be one with a folder with a little Google Drive data. So if you're on Android, you're gonna to need to go to the files. If you're on iPhone, it'll automatically open in these three bars. You may, and take a note of this, you may have to click something that says show file browser. That's gonna bring you to this right here. The whole goal is to get into the file browser from this side menu. You're gonna go ahead and click on the Google Drive folder, and that's gonna load this little bar in down here. This is mounting your Google Drive to this Python code. Now, one thing we wanna do is click on this little up arrow, because we want this to be on top. We want this Google Collab import to happen before we run any of this. So go ahead and click on the up arrow, and that'll simply bring it to the top here. Now, we're gonna click the play icon, which is gonna run this line of code. We're gonna be generating two errors, not authored by Google. We're gonna click run anyway. It's not a Google file, it's one that comes from a GitHub repository. Next, we're gonna allow Google Drive files to access this notebook. So we're gonna click on connect to Google Drive. Yet again, we're gonna get a bunch of things that we have to approve. So we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom and click on allow. This is going to let this load in to the Google Collab notebook that we are in. Once this is done, we will go ahead and proceed to running this down here. 
Wonderful, we are done. Now we can run this, and this is gonna take a while. This may take 10 minutes to actually initialize the first time you run it, but go ahead and click on play. This is going to run this cell, and we're gonna click on continue anyway. At any point in time while you're waiting for this, you can just see where this little green arrow is. Wherever the little green arrow, that is the line of code that we're currently loading or attempting to run. Now down here, if we scroll all the way down, we will actually see what the code is doing. So this is a line by line description of what's happening up here in the code. You can see right now it's pip install torch. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see it's actually setting that up and loading it right here. This is gonna be important because you may freeze at a point and you may seem like it's not going anywhere, but we're gonna explain what lines you wanna look for at the bottom. Let's go ahead and let this load and we'll be right back. All right, about seven minutes later, we receive these lines down here. Now there's four of them and they all start with public web UI collab URL. The first one has none. He's no help to us. We can go ahead and move on. Now we have three down here, public web UI collab URL. We have URL one, URL two, URL three. Let's go ahead and copy or open in new tab URL one. Now something magical is gonna happen when you first open this because I didn't think this was possible up until, well, spending spending many, many hours the last few days learning this. Oh my gosh, it's Stable Diffusion. Not only is it Stable Diffusion, but we have it preloaded with a few cool things like Deforum. You wanna create those cool animated videos from your cell phone? Well, the forum's gonna let you do that. We also have Civet AI and Hugging Face, which are great for uploading additional extensions. We have an image browser, and of course, we have the extension list as well. You're gonna have all of this right on your phone. You can start generating right now, and while you're there, you can also hit subscribe and like on this video to show some love, because I'm putting out these free tutorials every single week, multiple every week, I hope. And if you're really interested in how far you can push the limits of AI, I urge you to check out one of the videos on your screen now, especially the one to your left. I mean, just watch the first 10 seconds of it, and if you're not hooked and needing to know how it's done, then, well, I've completely failed as a content creator. No, but much love to all you guys who watched it, especially the ones who watched this far. I appreciate you dearly. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't ever stop creating.